That's just the way it goes. That's just the way it goes. Uh, that's just the way it goes. Yeah, that's just the way it goes. Yeah. That's just the way it goes. Let's go. That's just the way it goes. Go. Go. Behind the mask. I got a I got my brother with me. This is the first episode. I got my one of my close homies with me. There's no introduction needed, you know what I'm saying? There's no introduction needed. We go back like LeBron's hairline and shit, you know? Shut <laughs> <laughs> up, yeah. Uh Jermaine Tanoa Brown, aka Young Maney. For you that don't know him, you know, uh, you know, there's Google, there's all sorts of shit. You gotta find some, you know, <laughs> learn learn a little bit about my man right here. Uh welcome, bro. Welcome. This is the first episode behind the mask. Welcome. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks you're for a, having me. You're a, <laughs> you're a special guest, trust me. <laughs> it's an extra special guest, you know what I mean? Thank you for coming on the show, my brother. Uh um, yeah, yeah, uh not much, you know, we just just getting by, you know what I mean? Staying, staying positive, as you can see. What look at that? You know, inhale positivity, you know. What I, mean? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <how we do. laughs> I was gonna. I wanted to ask you first off, man. First off, how was the show the other night, bro? Because I seen some fire footage. I seen you rocking that motherfucker. <laughs> I, seen, I seen the whole crowd. Like uh, they were really like feeling your energy. Like it was like from coming from someone. Like I watched the footage, and I know you sent me some footage, like some clips and shit um yeah. it looked like your control of the whole crowd it was like yeah it was like on some next level shit like bro honestly they were rocking with you bro like that ass they were rocking with you nah, um, fuck, it was mad mad experience like mm. just to be able to perform like that was the first time i performed like by myself mm. usually i've only had like the boys around me and that like you yeah. fellas so that was the first time performing by myself but now nah, it was an unreal experience like fuck just yeah i tried to make sure you know had that crowd control Right, you know, gotta gotta interact with the crowd, you know. I feel like, like, you know, get like let them go home, take something away from it, you know. Yeah, 100%. but yeah, no, it's good, good experience, man. Fucking, just keep to do more. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the thing. Uh, you you plan on, uh, uh, you know, before the end of the year, you know, wrapping up uh, with a couple more shows and stuff like that. I'm assuming you, because bro, I'm telling you now, uh, every time you perform, uh, you grow just a little bit more. You know, like as an artist, yeah. but also uh, just as a person, because you kind of you discover things about yourself. Because, like they say, like most people say, um, when you're in your when you're outside of your comfort zone, uh, that's when special things happen. That's where you kind of like reach, you dig deep. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, uh, yeah, bro. Like I'm really wrapped about that, man. Everything I saw, like I was like I was vibing with the video, like so I could see. Like, <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was literally, I stood up like this and I started like just vibing with it. I was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and nah, I'm there and I'm black. And I, I would have definitely, bro, if I could have, I, I would have flown out, man. I would have been there. And on, you know, on to the next one, my brother, on to the next one. Yeah, that's it, that's it. 100%. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, nah, uh, the scene in Australia itself is growing rapidly, you know? Uh, so many different like uh there's different outlets in different cities you know what i mean and there's different yeah, yeah. yeah there's like different vibes in different cities melbourne have got a lot of shit bubbling off right now that's you know what both of us melburnians you know what i mean you yeah, always got to up the home you know sydney awesome. sydney's been worldwide like i mean yeah. just like the kid Leroy, i love that motherfucker you know he's opened yeah. up a, he's opened up a market for not just australia but for kids from backgrounds that you know they can only hope to like reach that yeah. level you know what i mean yeah 100%, so it's, yeah it's beautiful bro it's beautiful um i saw the last game against the broncos you got any yeah like that was i, I wanted to ask you personally because that was like one hell of a game that was like you know i was on the edge of my seat like that come that little comeback too bro you just killed it man any thoughts yeah. on the last, the last performance man against the broncos nah. Yeah, definitely. No, it was a good win. Like, they've been going well too, you know. Like, both teams have been going well. But it's always, like, it's a close rivalry, you know. Um, you know, North Queensland and Brisbane, you know, it's a close rivalry. So, mm. to beat them is always, like, you know, pretty special. So, everyone, all the boys got up for the game. And, yeah, yeah it's, it's just, just good to come away with the win, man. Like, we're going well this season. So, hopefully we can go all the way, man. That's it, brother. That's it. Nah, I, I got high hopes for you guys, man. Like, um the team have been really killing it and you know me bro like let's let's keep it a buck you know what i mean like 
I don't follow like footy, the NRL yeah. as, as much as, and you know, I just watch, you know, you know me, you know, I don't have to get into it on here and shit. But yeah. like my, my brother is an avid foot, sports fan and you know that, you know, my brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. And whenever there's something, something big happens, he, I'm the first to know, like he'll come to me and say, hey man, did you see your boy's game? And I'll be like, not in catch up. That's me being a hundred, you know? But like, uh, I always stay on the highlights and shit, you know? And this yeah. last game, fuck, I uh, just so happened to like, I was home that night and I was flicking through and I chucked it on and you were down a try, I'm pretty sure, at the, in the beginning. And then when you picked yeah, it up, yeah. fuck, it was phenomenal, phenomenal performance from you know, the whole team. Yeah. Uh, but you know what it is, for the brothers, you being one of my ho close homies, man, I, I always kind of look out for your number or I look out, I'm like, all right, let me see. I just tuned. I just tuned in, so I'm looking and I'm like, "Where's your man?" <laughs> oh, where are you? <laughs> I'm like, "There's your mother. And you know, yeah, it's a like you win, we all win type shit. So when I look, I look at it like this, man. Uh, as, as much as I don't follow the sport, like I said, uh, I want to see you go all the way. You know, I have the highest expectations for you and stuff like that. So yeah, so far it's been a beautiful season, man. Like everything's been going pretty good from what I've seen. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's mad. Respect, respect. Yeah, of course, of course. But uh, yeah, bro, have you been tuning into any of like uh the MMA? I know we'd be talking about like oh, what's happening in the UFC, and have you been tuning in? Did you, you watch the last uh pay per view? Or uh, well, I haven't really been tuning in too much like the last couple, but you know, I've seen like you know Adesanya there and the Volk. Shout out to Izzy, shout out to Paul. Yeah, to Paul. Oh, yeah. Bro, here representing Australia and New Zealand, you know, it's good to see them, you know, on that world stage killing it. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah no, nah, it was crazy, bro, coming from, you know, seeing Izzy kind of work his way up the rankings. Yeah. And now, and now he's like the, he's the king at middleweight, you know what I mean? Um, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's a tough one because people, once you get to that status where you're unbeatable, yeah. every, everybody wants to kind of dethrone the king. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. And uh, regardless of his last performance, you know, people were trying to trying to clown and all this shit. I, re I read a lot online and they were saying, like, uh, his walkout, you know, he did with the urn and the undertaker. And the <laughs> 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 he did with the urn, you know, came out with the urn and the undertaker's music and shit. I think Triple H... And Vince McMahon and his uh, missus were in the in the front row. Yeah, uh, yeah. And there's all these clowns online trying to say, "Oh, your walkout was better than your actual performance." Yeah. But uh, my my defense for Adesanya, you know, being a fan and stuff, I would say uh, they can only judge greatness so much. They haven't been in his shoes, so they wouldn't know yeah, what that's it's like. It. That's it. Yeah. As as long as you defend the crown, it's more or less. You know his opponent, Jared Cannonier, the other the other black dude he burst. He's a Alaskan, yeah. he's an Al Alaskan dude from Alaskan shit. Yeah. And like he, like uh, what I'm trying to say is, it was up to him to put on the performance of his life. Is he just yeah. have to defend the fucking crown? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that uh, makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you know, I look at it as like onto the next one. But you know, with that being said, with that being said. <laughs> Alex Pereira, you know how I was talking to you about this yeah, yeah, yeah. a few weeks ago. The bloke that he, uh, the bloke that just beat that other fella, what's his name? Uh, Sean Strickland. He's like, yeah, he yeah. like a hit, like an American dude. He was talking all that shit in the <laughs> press in the press conference. You know, uh, he's up next, the Brazilian dude. He he's the one, obviously, as you may know, like a lot of people been talking on the internet. He uh, knocked out Izzy in a kickboxing uh, fight they had a few years way before. You know. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. He's 2-0 now, man. Uh, yeah. fuck, man, honestly, that's going to be one hell of a fight. That's the fight that Izzy does have to kind of show out in, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah I this, think, I think yeah, Izzy's just like, like, he's just a class athlete. I think he, he can get the job done. As you said, defend the crown, you know? Yeah. That, yeah. Uh, Pereira is more, like, I look at it like this. Uh, you know, people don't really know how long... He's had like a long come up before he got to the UFC. Yeah. Uh, I had to do a little study, but I, you know, I got homies that were telling me, you know, he was the glory champion in two divisions, you know, like all sorts of shit. So it's not like, it's not like in the meantime, Adesanya was working his way up the ranks and this dude was just sitting at home. Yeah. Fights, you know, he was out there winning championships. So 
it's definitely going to be interesting, bro. Honestly, right now, I'm just going to, I can't say who I'm going to put money on, even if I don't. <laughs> know, but like, it would be cool to see fucking, you know, the Pereira kind of, you know, make his way to the UFC. Come on, yeah, true. Yeah. And, you know, become <laughs> and, then, and then Adesanya have to kind of take it back from him. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, sure. the trilogy, get the... The trilogy, yeah, the trilogy, yeah, yeah. It's going to be fucking insane, bro. Like, and with Volk, uh, since we're on the topic of, you know, the oceanic oh, fighters, yeah. Volk just, fuck, man, he just destroyed Max Holloway. Right. And I'm not, I'm not too happy about that, man. I, I lost some money on that that fight, man. Fuck, like, <laughs> and I, I, I shouldn't have, I would never, never go against the homeland. Like, you know, I was like, nah, Volk, <laughs> I was like, Volkanovski's going to destroy this cunt. But then there was something about Max's energy leading up towards the fights. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know, the embeddeds, I watch them on YouTube. They're just like, kind of like, you know, they follow them around with a camera crew during the wanes, during all of that, you know, oh, yeah. just to kind of build the hysteria for the fighters. And um, <clears throat> during them, you know, they get the little cuts of Max Holloway going, calling, going like, I am the fire. And, all this <laughs> shit. and so, I'm, you know, I'm getting the, and I love Hawaii, you know, I got the tiki, you know, I yeah, love yeah. Hawaii and stuff. So and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, I don't want to bet against the homeland. But there's something about this bloke's energy that yeah. I feel like he could reclaim that, you know, strap, reclaim the, the championship. And then sure enough, uh, he was just ab absolutely outclassed, man. Alexander the Great, you know? Yeah, that's it. That's it. I had to back the homeland, man. I always, I always. <laughs> yeah, <had to. laughs> never again. Never, never again. <laughs> <laughs> I told myself, I'm like, nah, nah, never again, bro. Never again. Oh, shit. So uh, when's the uh, when's the next game? When's your next game? When are you playing next? It's, uh, it's, next it's, game it's, this Friday. We versus the Sharks here at home in Townsville. Okay. So, yeah, and they they're going pretty well. They beat uh, the Melbourne Storm on the weekend. So like oh. they go. Well. Yeah, they're sitting fourth. I think we're second. Nice. So it'll be a good game, man. It'll be a good game. But hopefully, like you know, get the two points and progress our way up the ladder. Keep that second spot. That's it, brother. You just yeah. keep. Just keep doing what you're doing because right now it's looking uh, effortless. You know what I mean? It looks effortless. Oh, yeah. It looks like as a for, you know your uh, their formation, the way you guys play, it's all very uh, flowy. You know, you're doing yeah. it great. like honestly, man. Like I'm, I'm really hoping to see you take it all, all the way. You know, a hundred percent. Yeah. Nah, hopefully, hopefully. I definitely think we got the team to do it. So, oh, yeah. uh, hopefully, this is the year, year to do it. You know, hundred percent. Yeah, I, honestly, bro. Uh, I want to also ask you while you're on the show, my brother, because when, <laughs> it come, when it comes to music and when it comes to just, like, we came up together, you know, we grew up together, not just making music, but having a love for music. And yeah, all, yeah. All, all genres, you know what I mean? Not just rap, yeah. hip-hop, R&B, all that. Uh, off the top, sometimes when people ask me this question, you know, I get a little bit, I get a little antsy because I'm like, Fuck, there's so much up there and there's so yeah. much love and the, the music taste. My music taste is so broad and I know yours is as well. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, right now, what? give me a few artists, a few albums. What are you listening to right now? What, like whether it's before you go to the gym or when you're just in the house in the chef and you know what I mean, cooking it up and all that. <laughs> what, what are you listening to, bro? What are you listening to right now? Uh, to be honest, I don't really, I don't know. Um, been listening to a lot of like... Uh, I mean, listen to like a lot of the like the Afro beat stuff eh, lately. Oh, okay, okay. Like um, Wizkid, Burner Boy. Mm. Like Wizkid, oh, I've just been yeah bumping his shit. Obviously, Chris Brown as well. That's my boy. Fuck, just hey, dropped the new album. album. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. That new breezy album. Oh, the new Drake, Drake, Drake album too. Fuck. I I'm not gonna lie. Um, I listened it to it. It was different. Bro. It was very different. Yeah. What? Uh, I don't know. I fucked with the cover. I thought the cover was really, you know. Yeah, that was fucking bad. It caught caught my eye, hundred percent. But uh, I liked a couple of the tracks. But it was one of them things where it's like, okay, Drizzy dropped a new album. I listened to a few tracks here and there, but then it was yeah. just like onto the next. I just kept, you know, looking for more music. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Breezy, <laughs> <laughs> even Breezy's album, bro. They had some bops on there, but I. Yeah. I a few tracks and i'm like yo this shit is this is that this is chris brown this is what i wanted this is as a fan yeah expected. um but i still haven't finished the album and that's not because i didn't like what i i heard i just uh there's just so much out there 
so much going, you know, that like I, I always, yeah. keep my ear, you know me, I always keep my ear open to all sorts. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, right now, I've been listening to, I don't know if you've heard of Rob Banks' new album. You know, Shag. Oh, Rob, oh, no, I haven't yeah. heard the new Rob Banks. Yeah. Oh, you got to get onto that. Shag right? son, it is Shag son, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that shit's fire, you know what I mean? I've been listening to that. Uh, yeah. Just a little bit of currency. You know, I've always liked Spitter. Hey, know, hey, Jet Life, yeah. the next life. Yeah. <laughs> my big brother, you know, my brother Nate, you know, he, he motherfucker shouts out. He put me onto Spitter when I was really young. You know, I was listening to yeah. a couple of his shits uh, recently. Uh, one of the brothers from Sydney, uh, Blessed, you know, uh, formerly known as Miracle, uh, he dropped Aussie. Oh, yeah, Black. I see that. Yeah, he dropped Aussie Black Star, and uh, I give that, you know, that was a phenomenal, like, that was like a perfect album. In my opinion, it was like the perfect album. Uh, you know, uh, it's all, it all boils down to the market in Australia, and right now, the market in Australia, it's very uh niche you know it really depends on yeah. uh, what like the market you're the, the market you're trying to uh, tackle is that's how you're going to make your money uh when it comes yeah. to artistry though when it comes to artistry uh that was yeah one of the great drops good drops i've heard come out of the country man recently uh, I have to guess. That's it. yeah i definitely i'm gonna i'll put you on uh a little bit of denzel curry you know i've been listening yeah, to denzel. Yeah, just the mixing it up a little bit, bro. A lot of oldies too. I've been listening to a little bit of Marvin Gaye lately. Bro. Oh shit! Yeah, uh, Marvin Gaye. Just a lot yes, of like uh, a lot of piano and shit too. I've just been listening to a lot of like other shit. Uh, just like uh, there's the uh, well, yeah. I look, I look at it right now. The uh, Ahmed Jamal Trio. I know you've probably not heard of that Ahmed Jamal Trio. There's this album from the seventies, um, The Awakening. This is it right here. I hope you can see. See The Awakening. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 1970. Yeah, I've been listening to that lately. It's it's no, sure. it's 70s. no. Yeah, yeah. It's no vocals. It's all just piano and it's all just sound. And uh, yeah. yeah, I've just been getting lost in that shit lately. Man, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Actually, I've going. been listening to a bit of Elvis too after watching the Elvis movie. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, Crazy man. Give me a little Elvis. Give me a little Elvis impression. <laughs> 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 you gotta have to uh, chuck on the blues. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how he does the voice. Fuck. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't know too much about Elvis. Uh, my uncle, my uncle was a big Elvis fan. But me, per me personally, and my, you know, coming from my upbringing, uh, I don't know too much. I just know what most people would know. You know, he had his, you know, bigger hits and such. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely. I still haven't watched the new Elvis film yet, bro. Like I was yeah. just talking to you before we uh, off camera. Like uh, I'm keen to watch it because the guy that directed it, uh, Bass Luthman or whatever his name is, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's a phenomenal. Uh, Didn't he director. do like um, Moulin Rouge and all that? Oh really? Oh, no. oh, he did like a few. Yeah, it's very like visual. Eh? It's like it's heaps mm. different. Mm. Goes goes a bit long, but no, nah, it's a good movie. Like. Like, without s spoiling it, like, I didn't even realize um, Elvis was, like, his music was heavily, like, influenced by black people. Yeah, oh, no, like, exactly. Yeah. That's, that's I didn't even realize yeah. that, yeah, until I seen the movie. Like, and it's pretty cool. Something, like, good insight. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm, I'm actually really taken back that they uh, they include that because, you know, I've yeah. heard that forever. That, like, he's yeah. he's got such an insp in influence from the black culture, black sound, yeah. black dance, black... Even, yeah, his moves and that, yeah. Yeah, the blues, the blues, exactly. And, yeah. um, uh, yeah, you know, years ago, I used to hear people say, like, you know, he's he took that shit. That wasn't Elvis. Yeah, shit. that's all people, yeah. That yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's, cool, it's cool to see that they're paying homage, you know, yeah. in the film, yeah. Uh, shouts out to... Uh, what was his daughter's name? Marie, uh, Anna Marie Presley or Lisa Marie yeah, Presley? Yeah, Lisa Marie or something like yeah. that. Anna, Lisa Marie, yeah. Yeah, shout out to the great, you know, Michael Jackson. He was with yeah, her at one point, man. Yeah, he was yeah, with he her. He married her, yeah. He married her, yeah. He yeah. a big sure. uh, Elvis fan, eh, wasn't he? Well, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I mean, he was a fan of his daughter, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, uh, no, I, yeah, I've seen some documentary and they mentioned uh, something about he was married to his, uh, Elvis's daughter and all that. I wonder if he's got a cameo in the film. <laughs> yeah, bro. But yeah, no, I gotta, you know, I gotta keep the thinking frog handy, even you know during the, the pod. I just wanna, you know, this is gonna be a reoccurring uh, uh, person. He's gonna be popping up in the pod, the thinking frog, because this, you see, this, uh, it holds a lot of energy. This right here, it, it uh, compels your thoughts. So you see, looking at the thinking frog. Yo, yo. You just let loose, man. So any riders, <laughs> 
any anything like that, it just it'll just shoot through and stuff, man. I try to give the energy to everybody I'm gonna have on behind the mask, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, I was also gonna ask you, bro. Have you been uh, in your workouts and stuff like that? Have you been incorporating anything different, like anything new that you you would say is something that, like you know, for example, uh, like do you do you have ice baths or anything like that? So I've I've been having cold showers lately, bro. And I'm not gonna lie, I've I felt like it's unlocked. Uh, a new level for me, you know what I mean? And me, yeah, yeah. You know, I've heard I'm, I'm, an you know, I'm an athlete, you know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm, 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 I've tried it all, you know. I've tried it all. You name it, tennis, all yeah. sorts. I've tried it all. But uh, I know I want to take get a take on it from you know a friend, good friend, also a professional yeah. athlete. What's anything new you incorporate into you know your workouts or your recovery that you yeah. know? That you um, uh, I do like all the, you know, the ice baths and different stretching and like mobility work in the gym. But um, I've been doing this a lot of sauna lately, eh? Oh, great. Like, yeah, I, reckon, yeah. fuck, I reckon that helps, eh? Like, obviously, like, fuck, trying to strip off fat, like, sweat, sweat it out and that. But yeah. um, no, I reckon it, like, it helps. Just a bit of sauna and that, and recovery. Mm. And yeah, obviously, yeah, your ice baths and just, yeah, like, just stretching and that, like, different stretches, mobility work in the gym. Yeah, find cool. that like yeah just working like just the little muscles too you know like that helps like you know with your bigger lifts and stuff so mm. just doing all your rehab and prehab whatever it is yeah yeah oh no that's good to hear bro because i'm uh me personally yeah i've uh incorporated a lot more stretching just in my daily routine yeah uh yeah, you stretching's know, my, good, bro. yeah my missus uh she's really got me onto the just she's trying to stay as flexible as possible and you know and it helps as you get older, you know, your your joints, your muscles, everything. They kind of just need to stay fluctuated and they just need to, you know, you need to just stay moving, stay moving. Yeah, that's it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, nah, how, how is uh, everything, like, what are your plans for moving forward after you finish playing uh, rugby, bro, finish uh, playing professionally? You know, it could be 10 years from now. Where do you see yourself? What are your short, what are your goals? Let me, let me put it like this. What are your yeah. goals? For the next five to ten years, so long term, what where do you see yourself moving? Yeah, um, like I always think about this, eh? Like I always mm. think about what I want to do after rugby, because yeah. like you sort of don't realize like it goes fast, man. Like mm. your career exactly. is not going to last forever, mm. you know. Like I want to be twenty six. Yeah, it's yeah, been... a lot of injuries, and you know who knows what could happen. Um, mm. But to be honest, I don't know if I can see myself playing like you know past thirty or whatever. So. I, f I still think I've got another couple of years in me, but I don't know. But, like, I definitely, I'd love to progress into the music scene more. Like, yeah. do stuff with that and that, like, scene. Um, so I want to try, like, you know, take it, oh, not, like, serious, but, like, you know, get into it a bit more, dive a bit deeper into it and, mm. you know, meet people in the industry and, yeah, just, like, I don't know, just try to do something with music. And, um, obviously, like, I, I've been studying, like, been doing a youth work course lately too, so... Yeah. I wouldn't. I could see myself, you know, helping out with the youth um, back home, like moving back to Melbourne. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I could see myself doing that. That's good, bro. I love that. Uh, that's a really, you know, it, it's all about giving back. Remember a few, uh, like a few weeks ago, me and you were just having a chat, and we were talking about how important it is to give back to not just where you're from, your stomping grounds, but also just your people, the people that you yeah. know, like you know, people you love, family, all that type of stuff. Uh, uh, not personally, bro. Like, yeah, that's it. Um, uh, well, other than your you being an athlete, I've always seen you as a music, very musically inclined. You know, um, mm. so that's definitely a path that you should definitely. Yeah, I, I mean, considering how well that show went last weekend, bro, it's only uh, a stepping stone to continue to move up. And to yeah, that's it. Exactly. Yeah, uh, that's beautiful, bro. Honestly, that's beautiful. Like, uh. uh have you been watching, I don't know, I've been wanting to ask you, what uh, What have you been watching, like, on the streaming platforms, man? Have you, are you one of those people that, you know, you got every, you know, you got Netflix, Stan, <laughs> Binge, uh, fucking, what else, uh, Paramount, Prime, <laughs> you got all of them, but you only use one. Like, are you one uh, of those people, or are you? Oh, I've got, so I've got Netflix, Stan, yeah. and then, like, uh, Disney Plus, I think that's the only other one. Oh, yeah, and Disney Plus, that's yeah. really good. Yeah, they got some... But I, I probably, those are probably, like, the three that I use, but I mainly probably use Netflix, I'd say. Okay. But Stan, I don't mind Stan, too. Like, I usually, like, that's where I watch Power and shit. Shout out Power. Ooh, 
Shout out 50 Cent. Ooh, that's <laughs> that's on the trip. Let's go. Yeah, I was uh, going to say, since we're on the topic then, my brother, I was going to say, um, what did you think of the last season of Power? Like, uh, you know, what did you, you know, because I, I liked it because Tommy, Tom, oh, what's his name? Joseph uh, Sikoro, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. wrong, I apologize. But uh, I really enjoyed that last season. They had a lot of like, ooh, like cameos from people that, like, you know, and it was just really good. But like, it wasn't as enjoyable for me yeah. as the previous seasons. Like, uh, I'm waiting for, what was uh, the one with Meech's son? Oh, that BMF, is it? No. BMF, yeah, that's the Black Mark. Oh, I, haven't seen, I haven't seen that yet, no. You haven't watched that one? Nah, I still got to get onto it. Damn, bro, that's been my favorite one. No, that is my favorite one. That's nah, actually, yeah, I'll really get onto it, man. But, like, <laughs> nah, uh, it's not, nah, it's really good, bro. It, it, the, who it's based on is Big Meech and uh, his brother and, uh, you know, Larry and all that. And, like, yeah, it's, it's actually crazy, man, because uh, the Flanroy brothers, as they were called, you know, the Flanroys, they really did get it popping in Detroit, you know. They like, you know, I didn't know as much about the history until I watched BMF, and yeah. it, it's unbelievable to think, you know. And it and it's cool to think that Fifth Fifty Cent got his biological son, Lil Meech, yeah. got him to play his father. So it's like, yeah, you can't beat that. You yeah, can't it's that authenticity. It's just so real, like. Yeah. Um, yeah, that I have was to suss it out for sure. Yeah, hundred percent, bro. That's one you definitely gotta, you know, get onto. I miss the, I miss the original cast, though, bro. I gotta admit, I, I miss. Yeah. Guys, you know, I, I miss, miss the, I miss the OG series, man. Yeah, like, fuck, I like, man, that was classic. Like Tommy's one, like I, I enjoyed it. Like it was a bit slow. I, I felt like it was a bit slow to start off yeah. with, but like towards the end, like fucking got mad. Mm. But yeah, no, nah, I like. Yeah, I miss the OG cast, but I like um the one with Tariq in that now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now they're actually coming for season, yeah, book two, book two. season three or two. Or... Oh, season three. Season three. Season sorry, three. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But um, that's gonna be crazy. The little motherfucker grew up like on screen in front of us and shit. <laughs> man. <laughs> Fuck three. <Wow. laughs> People used to hate on him, man. I, I'm just I, I, kidding, man. I used to hate the kid. Yeah, I, I used to see online there. And this is not the this is not the the guy playing Tariq, the you know the actor. This is the the character. I used to be like. Why did he do that? Like, why? You know, he's got it good, and like, you know, he's trying to play into the life that his father is trying to get out of. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh no, it was phenomenal, man. Like, I was. Uh, I'm not gonna lie though. That was. Those are my two faves uh, out of yeah. the whole power uh, universe. You know, universe, probably yeah. the BMF and then uh, uh, Tariq's. You know, season. Yeah. I'm keen to see where they like where they take it. Eh? like Tariq's story sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be dope. Man. I don't know how long we've been on here, but uh, I could keep this running for hours, man. <laughs> you're, you're a busy man. You know, I'm a busy man. we got a lot to uh, cover on, you know, but we'll be here all night. You know what I mean? We'll yeah, I know. I know. Straight up. <laughs> nah, bro. Hey, but that's, with that being said, with that being said, uh, yeah. I'm going to have you uh, on the pod again very soon. You're going to be one of the reoccurring uh, guests. 100 percent just to yeah, chop it sure, up sure. just to level to chop it up and uh yeah you know uh i wanted to thank you bro for being the you know the first person to you know <laughs> grace the you know behind the mask you know thank you for being here bro thank you for joining me it's been it's been one hell of a chat uh yeah. until next time my brother until next time nah thank you bro thanks for having me fucking it's mad to see you doing this and fuck i hope it takes off here like. but it's good bro it's good but we'll oh, chop it up again soon, for sure. Up again. <laughs> Dude, yeah, the boys. <laughs> nah, but hey, brother, hey, thank you. I appreciate you. Much love. Uh, and uh, this is Behind the Mask. Thank you. Jermaine Tanoa Brown, a.k.a. Young Maney. It's been my pleasure, my brother. Thank you. Signing Much off. love. Let's go. That's just the way it goes. 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 That's just the way it goes.